This is a fantastic show. I mean, the first thing to say is that the curation has made um, the most, really, of the gallery space to show off, I guess, the, uh, the different pieces in a way that really makes the show come together. I suppose the most startling is the silent landscape, really quite compelling for what is a very dark, uh, very resonant piece. It's almost like an aftermath of a battle. You know, when a battle has taken place, all the, the gunfire and the, the, the carnage and the, and the, the, the way that, that you know, the nature is, is, is affected, you know, the trees are, are blown away, the, the, the ground, there's, 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 it's just uh, eaten up. Um, I think, you know, there's nothing but darkness. You can't but be drawn into the, into the piece. The woman next to me said, it's kind of Grimm's like, you know, like fairy tale. And, and it's, she's totally right. Um, you've got the little, like the woods scene, everything's gray and dark and eerie. Um, and you can see uh, like ruined houses, you know, piles of, piles of wood. I think it's just a really, really powerful way to present your work. Um, and she's obviously thought about every element of the space. Um, you, there's nowhere to hide, I suppose. You know, you, you, you can't, you have to walk around it to get out and, and that's, you know, you're, you're really drawn in because of that. There were two pieces that came to mind when I went straight plate in. The first one is what looks like a, um, a petrified forest based on a pool of oil, a pool of oil. So I was noticing, the, I didn't at first know that it was liquid that was at the base of the pool. So I put my hand, my fingertip in, to find out what it was. Now that was quite interesting because otherwise I had to engage to find out what the material was, put it that way. And the, the second one was when I walked in and I looked at um, on the left hand side where there was a wreath which was in a state of uh, transmutation, to put it that way, transmogrification, and was not dissolving like an ice cube into water, but it was obviously, it looked like it had melted. That's, it's, it's almost horrific in some ways. To me, they, they look like human entrails, and you know, the, the, to, for, for me, that's a very realistic element of, of any conflict. You know, n no war or conflict is, is romantic. It's 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 cruel. It's fierce. It's it's horrific. I'm very interested in the whole issue of commemoration, anyway, and uh, I think that commemoration should not belong to one particular party. It should be everyone's. Owned by, everyone should have ownership over the commemoration. All narratives are equally valid and should be heard and articulated. What are we trying to remember? Because of the scale and because of that grotesqueness, it makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable, um, a little bit challenged. They're almost decomposing in a way, um, which was shocking to me. It looks like the head and shoulders is made out of... Um, metal and like acid has been poured on it and you know there are little bubbles and and it, um it's been worn away there's an element of decay that's given a sheen by the ceramics and the whole face is deformed but but the right ear is somehow still totally intact it, he's got this you know very well kept hair but then you look and there's a giant gap where his left eye should be uh, the monumental process of creating these huge monumental celebratory busts um, is then uh, undermined by a very interactive process where elements are just ripped off and you can see how that's been done. I like the statues. Statue of people. I like seeing through them. I can see that it looks like stone, but it's clay. The temperature, like, it's cold, but it is cool. Like the way these, the fingers and the blaze. It's cool. Yeah. The whole show, as I say, comes together really with that, that last room, I think, where it moves it from what I see as quite specific time um, settings into something which is much more timeless. It brings out the timelessness of the earlier pieces. I mean, wreaths still have a resonance, but they are perhaps less visible than they would have been in um, uh, 19th and 20th century um, um, memorials. But that landscape is very 20, 20th, 21st century. It's First World War right the way through to today.